Bro, this theme will never get old. Anyways, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Modern Warfare Remastered here in 2024. So this is one of my games that I always come back to every single year and I never can't. Um, this is one of my favorite games. I'll get into why it is, but also get into why I'm playing it today of all days um, and why I want to kind of just, you know, play it. Anyways, that's what we're doing here in today's video. Let's get into it. You can still, I find games faster here than any other new games. Good lord, bro. Come on, that's why you can't have SPMM, bro. Why, that's why we shouldn't have SPMM, dude. 100%. Also, I'm running the XMLAR. I got, I unlocked this gun like a, like three months ago, and it's one of my favorite guns in the whole game. It's super good. But dude, look at how pretty this game looks, dude. Like, it's so good looking, dude. I love it. But anyway, today we're playing Modern Warfare Mastered here in the year 2024. Eight years after this game came out. I am old. I'm not old. I feel old, though, because this game, I feel, came out like a year ago. I swear it came out a year ago. It definitely did not. This game is one of those titles I can constantly go back and play and always have something to go play with. It's not the most content-rich game, right? You know, there's not a million attachments. There's not a million guns. It's a game I've been playing pretty much since 2008 when I first played a Call of Duty game with my brother on old school mode with out-of-map glitches on the original COD 4 and our PlayStation 3. Like, that was my introduction to this franchise. And honestly, I never looked back. Never have looked back. And more than likely, never will look back. This game is one of my favorite games of all time. Like, this game is the reason I still play Call of Duty today. And actually, is one of the... Is actually... My most viewed video was playing this game in 2022 sitting at just 33, 32, 33,000 views, which again, thank you guys so much for. This game has always done well, both on my YouTube channel and also just playing the game. Where do my bullets go? I shot at him. I gotta say, is he gonna die or not? But this game holds a ton of memories for me. You know, it was one of the first games I truly, truly grinded, grinded when it first came out. Like, I bought Infinite Warfare just to play this game. And to that credit, I remember the day I went and picked this game up, okay? Keep in mind, this game came out when I was going into seventh grade. So 2016, right? And I remember playing this game, getting the game, going to GameStop to get it. The day of its release, and the guy in the store, and one of the guys in the store when we left, who was leaving as we were walking in, said, ugh another Call of Duty player as he walked out with a copy of Battlefield 1, I want to say is what it was. And I find it funny because I bought this game, I bought Infinite Warfare, that edition, to play this game. Granted, I also wanted to play Infinite Warfare Zombies and the campaign uh, and some of the multiplayer, but I ultimately really wanted to play this. You know, like I said, it was the first foray into Call of Duty and that I'll never not love this game, right? It's to me, it is the it is an S tier Call of Duty game, and will always be an S tier Call of Duty game. It never won't be. It is the epitome of a perfect shooter. The game also just looks absolutely beautiful, especially the remaster, dude. Like you were also playing on Beach Bog back when Days of Summer was an event, which Treyarch, active, Xbox. Bring that back, Microsoft, please. I know you guys like money, I get it. But let's make these games for the people. You know what I mean? Like, let's bring back free events, you know, free skins, free things to grind for and work towards. That was like the only really good thing about supply drops that all the events in the game were essentially free because there weren't any bundles. Ah, oh, dude. Running the M4 carbine. I decided to run this because I ran it in my last video on the M4 from Modern, in Modern Warfare 2, uh, or Modern Warfare, uh, running this exact essential setup in Modern Warfare 3 with the red dot because they brought that back. You know, instead of the throwback, which that's actually why I'm recording this video. So like I said, to kind of explain why I was recording this and that's why. <clears throat> Using that M4, 
made me realize, man, I haven't touched Modern Warfare Remastered for a video yet this year. You know, I've been playing it off camera here and there. It's one of my favorite campaigns to always revisit. I always go back and play it at least once or twice a year. It's one of those campaigns. Same with games like Titanfall 2. I always go back and play those campaigns just because those games are amazing. These games are amazing, dude. Like, they are beautiful games that are just top mother freaking tier. That guy has freaking martyrdom. Okay. Also, my hair is kind of a mess. I'm sorry. Um, I uh, didn't put any product in this morning on accident. And so now my hair is just a mess. So Delta Force, unironically, so that's the thing I want to talk about. Delta Force Hawk Ops' Alpha is currently going on. And let me just say, that game is a ton of freaking fun. I'm enjoying every second I put in the Alpha so far. The extraction mode is great. The base game is great. It's so much fun. We're definitely, as gamers, eating this year. You know, we got Black Ops 6 coming up here really, really soon. Um, GTA 6 later next year. At least so far, it's saying that it's going to come out next year. It is. I did hear a rumor that it could be delayed. I really hope not. But you're laying down, bro. It's crazy how weird, like, kind of slow these, like, kind of weird pacing these old games were. Like, they weren't quick. They weren't slow. They were kind of like that, that perfect pacing, kind of. But it's weird to me just how they actually did play. Also, does anybody else remember if you're... An advanced warfare fan like me does anybody remember this map being atlas gorge and that game like it was a dam on that game i think is what it was right and with the advanced movement and stuff they remade this in advanced warfare sledgehammer's always done cool stuff like that and i love that they did that because that map actually played really well with the advanced movement with the verticality of stuff i miss advanced warfare do you guys miss that game i i certainly do bro get you what did you why man just got so turned on bro what did he say? Hey. Do I have any melee weapons? I have a cleaver. I have a cleaver, bro. I'm gonna chop some meat with this thing. I find it funny he taps the back of his head. It sounds like a helmet. That's hilarious. Bring back interesting melee weapons, too. Also, one thing I brought up with in... I don't know if I brought it up in my Black Ops 4 video or Black Ops 6 video or not. Um, I can't remember, to be honest with you. My original Black Ops 6 video. One thing I would love to absolutely see in that game is this little yellow bar you see at the bottom of the monitor or on the monitor jesus dude little bottom yellow, the yellow bar at the bottom of the screen which is an xp bar i hope with the customizable hud that we can add that i have seen a lot more black ops 6 gameplay um i'm not going to touch on it too much here in this video a because it's the purpose of this video but also i'm waiting for the beta you know cod next is in 22 days i cannot wait for that to come on happen i'm really excited and so we're gonna be doing that you know i have all that i do work that day so i won't be available readily available to like react to cod next but that's fine we're good there but yeah this game is so much fun modern warfare master 2024 if you can play it while it's still populated if not just replay the beautiful campaign i love this game dude